Welcome back to the Quantum CBD H2O Rumble at Remington presented by Sailor Jerry. This night brought to you by HD Boxing and this is six rounds in the middleweight division. And one of our favorites here at HD Boxing is getting ready to enter the ring, Dennis Knife Chief. And he is taking on Shadi Shawareb in tonight's co-featured main event. Joining us ringside, Darren Humphrey. Darren, what should we expect tonight? Oh goodness, it's always gonna be a tough, exciting fight with Dennis Knife Chief. Uh, like you mentioned, he's an exciting fighter. I'm glad to be back watching him. Uh, you know, once again, he's always taking a tough fight, so. He is, and he's a fan favorite. So much fun to watch, and I think the fighters are ready. Let's go up in the ring to Thomas Triber. Ladies and gentlemen, from Remington Park in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, this bout is scheduled for six rounds in the junior middleweight division. Brought to you by HD Boxing, along with their great sponsor, Sailor Jerry Rum. Our three judges scoring will be Sarah Atwood, David Sutherland, and Gerald Ritter. Our referee in charge, third man in the ring, will be Gary Ritter. Introducing to you first, fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He's wearing black with red and white and weighed in at 149 pounds. Hailing from right here, Oklahoma City. His professional record consists of nine wins, two defeats, two draws, with five of his nine wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Shoddy, the Shotgun Shawarib. And his opponent across the ring, fighting tonight out of the red corner. He's wearing white with silver and weighed in at 151 pounds. Hailing from Pawnee, Oklahoma, he is fighting out of the Western Avenue Boxing Gym and has a professional record consisting of 10 wins, 7 defeats, with 5 of his 10 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Dennis the Pony Knife Chief! Hey, Jim, we're going six rounds. You got your instructions earlier. Give us a spirit and clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands. Both your trunks are good. Touch your gloves. Bang at the bell. Now! Yeah! Here we go. This is a junior middleweight bout. Dennis Knife Chief, a fan favorite here at Remington Park in Oklahoma City, taking on Shadi Shawareb, who is fighting out of the blue corner. He's wearing the black trunks with the red trim. Uh, Darren, these guys, uh, you look at the records, they're, uh, they're pretty evenly matched. What do you think going in? Well, yes, they are. Uh, well, I think coming in, Shawareb, you know, obviously came up and wait to fight Knife Chief which kind of surprises me. He actually looks like the heavier fighter to me. He does, he does look thicker through the midsection. I would agree, he certainly looks like the stronger fighter. And with both of these guys coming forward and Knife Chief being a southpaw, there is a potential for a head cut. Knife Chief working off his, uh, his southpaw stance, but Shama Reb uh, initiating the action. However, we know from Knife Chief, because we've seen him fight several times, that uh, sometimes it takes uh, getting tagged to get his motor going. Right, a lot of times it'll take him a round or two to get going, like you said, to get hit hard. Uh, mm, the way Shawarev's bringing the fight to him, that, that might happen here in this first round. <laughs> yeah. So one of those punches are gonna land eventually. They're coming awfully close. Shawarev throwing big shots uh, as he works his no, way break, inside, break. hasn't Box. landed anything too effective yet. Uh, but he's getting awfully close. You can tell he's kind of closing the gap and feeling out his range. Knife Chief, though, uh, as we mentioned, sometimes he needs a wake-up call. Yeah, perhaps. Um, you know, I think Shawarev is kind of coming in with his head, you know, kind of leaning out, coming forward. And he better hope that Knife Chief don't set back with a lead uppercut while he's coming in. Shawarev is landing. 
hard punches. When he manages to land, I think uh, Knife Chief is such a, uh, a clever veteran that uh, when Shawa Reb yeah. throws four punches, he thinks he's going to land three and only ends up landing one. It's because Knife Chief is using his experience and yeah. his uh, very elusive movement, as yep. he did just there, slipping that left hook yeah. uh, to avoid the punches. Right. And if you notice there in that exchange before this one, ooh. Good, good right hand there by Shallow Rev. Another right hand. You know, this is that situation that a lot of people talk about Knife Chief needing before he gets going. And, you know, from the Knife looks of Chief, it, I wouldn't take too many of Knife those. Knife Chief might look like he's in trouble, but he certainly stormed uh, or weathered worse storms than this. Sure. Uh, Shallow Reb, very effective with that oh. right hand, but I'll tell you what good I've right noticed is that Shallow Reb tends to come lunging in with his chin up, and Knife Chief, if he can figure out the counter, oh. is bound to tag him. Yeah. Knife Chief landed a good uppercut there. And a right hook. <laughs> Knife Chief working in some good body shots as they fight on the inside. Knife Chief really has seen it all. And so you're probably not going to do much to surprise him. But uh, Shawarev giving a very impressive showing mm. here in round one. Yeah, Shawarev landed a good left up. hook there at the end of the round that I think stunned. Here we go, round two of this junior middleweight fight. Dennis Knife Chief. Wow. And before I can even introduce the fighters, they are slugging toe to toe in the center of the ring. Dennis Knife Chief in the uh, silver and white trunks, and Shadi Shawareb in the red with the black trim. Shawareb has been pushing the action. Knife Chief, though. Clever fighter who tends to come on in the later rounds. Darren, how did you score round one? Ooh, that was a tough round to score. Uh, I would maybe give the edge to Shower Reb just because I feel like maybe he came forward and landed the harder punches. Uh, but you know, that's not uncommon for Knife Chief to maybe lose the first round. Yeah, he's uh, he's stop, always stop, been a slow back, starter, and I gave uh, Shower Reb round number one. He uh, pressed the action, landed the cleaner punches. Uh, yeah, and he's definitely coming forward. He is, and from, from the angle I just had, I can't quite see now, but it looks like Shawarab has a little mouse developing under his left eye. Yeah, and I mentioned this last round. It's just interesting to me that Shawarab was coming up from lightweight to fight a junior middleweight or a former Oklahoma State junior middleweight champion, and Shawarab looks like the bigger fighter to me, the stronger fighter. He does. He's, he's much thicker through the shoulders, although Knife Chief has the broader shoulders. I think Shawa Rep is thicker sure. and has the punching power edge. Uh, Knife Chief uh, almost looks overwhelmed. Uh, my question at this point is can Shawa Rep keep up this kind of pace for six rounds? Well, that's a good point because uh, we all know that Knife Chief can, and he's been there, done that. So. Yeah. Six rounds is uh, oh. hardly new territory to Knife Chief. You know, he went. Uh, Eight rounds with middleweight contender Bo Gibbs. He dropped yeah. the decision. Oh, good gave. body shot there a by Knife Chief. Very spirited fight. I think Knife Chief is starting to find his rhythm and range yes, a little. I would agree with that. I kind of feel like maybe Knife Chief is uh, settling in here. He landed a good body shot on Shallow Red. And, uh, and, and, and what does it do to a fighter psychologically like Shallow Red when you're landing your best shots and the guy really isn't budging? Right, right. I think a lot of fighters realize that with Knife Chief. Oh, oh and Knife punch. Chief takes over. Dominant punches oh, to the body and head. This is the experience that we have been waiting for him to show all evening. And he must have landed eight or nine power shots throughout that exchange. Shower of, much to his credit, still on his toes and firing back gamely. Oh. We have high drama here at the end of round two. And round three is coming up. Oh, great ending to that round. <laughs> round three, junior middleweight action here at the Rumble at Washington. Oh, 
Remington Park Casino in Oklahoma what? City. Dennis Knife Chief in the white and silver trunks. Shadi Shawareb in the black and red. Knife Chief really taking over at the end of round two, but Shawareb firing back. Darren, how did you score round two? Goodness, I don't know that I'm prepared to answer that. <laughs> it was a great round, and uh, you know, there was so much excitement in it. I'm not sure, you know, I don't, I would maybe give it to Knife Chief because I felt like he came back and landed the bigger, harder punches at the end of the round, but I don't want to take any way, anything away from Shallow Rev. I mean, this is a great fight. This is a great exactly fight. Exactly what we expect when we come to HD Boxing and MMA. They put together some fantastic fights. This one was oh. out oh, in the junior middleweight division. And Knife Chief very smartly goes to the body again. Great it's a question body work of how much of how much Shawa Rev oh, can take great. these it's days. Hard. And he crumples wow. up against the ropes near the blue corner. Struggles to his feet at the three count. Although referee Gary Ritter has yet to pick up the count from the down. count. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was a knockdown. I think he's saying he was down when he hit him. Wow. Referee Gary Ritter calling in the... Uh, the doctor to take a look at Chowder saying that Knife Chief was it down. One point, fighter was down. One point, fighter was down. One point, the fighter was down. Gary Ritter deducting a point for hitting Shower after he was okay? already down. Go over here. At the same time, I didn't see Gary Ritter call that as a knockout. So at this point, it would have to be a two-man round for Chowder. Or 10-9, you're right. A 10-9 round. Yeah. Mm. But Knife Chief, I think, smells blood in the water. He knows he has the momentum and lands another hard right hand on oh, the body. Great left hook. Left up top, those body shots. The difference shots. is with these body shots. Knife Chief is pounding the body. Shawarev actually turning his back, wincing as Knife Chief lands those brutally painful wow. body shots. And this is where you see the experience of Knife Chief's 18 fights. Oh, and he landed another Come overhand the pass. Right. Huge, huge right hand on Shawarev's chin, but he's still standing. Wow. God, to give it to Shawarev. I don't know what's keeping him up. But now, look, he's turned the wow. tables. And now he is unloading a Knife Chief who needs to take a break. Shawarev again. Just like Knife Chief learned the lesson smartly going to the body, but I think Shawarev's Sh nose is broken. Oh, He's just about out his mouthpiece. You're the sand go, might go, be running go. out of the hourglass for Shawarev hey, here in knockout. round number three. I think he seriously hurt. I think he has a broken nose, knockout. Knockout. and he might have to the finish knockout. off Knife knockout. Chief in this round to There's win this fight. Okay. Wow, what a turn of events there in the last few seconds. Holy cow. Both these guys eager to get at it. And this is what makes a great fight. Both these guys, I think, believe they have the momentum in this fight. I have to say, Knife Chief might be the most exciting fighter that we have here in the Oklahoma City Metro. Then it's Knife Chief. He takes a tough fight every time. Always an exciting fighter. And here we have Chowareb. Initiating the action with Knife Chief against the ropes at the end of round three, but now Knife Chief is taking off. Oh, what a brutal round three. Round four is coming up, but Darren, I have to get your take on that round. We have not seen many round threes shape up like that one. Well, I'm gonna need a replay. There was so <laughs> much excitement. Wow, I think Very I lost track, up. I mean, very I know that Knife score. Chief had turned the last, you know, the previous round. I felt Knife Chief won. Knife Chief won most of this round, but as we saw, Shawa Reb came back and started doing to Knife Chief what Knife Chief had done to him. Well, well I thought Knife Chief won the round, Which, and yeah, when Shawa Reb went down, unless I'm mistaken, I referee Gary Ritter never called it a, a knockdown. knockdown. You're right. Which like means the on one now. point deducted from Knife Chief would make this 10-9 uh, or worst case scenario 
for show rep at 9-9 if he thought he, he lost the round. Right. But you're uh, right. He never did call that a knockdown. He didn't. And that concerns me because. It was a legitimate knockdown. Right. Right. And here we go at the beginning of round four. Let's see if these two fighters pick up where they left off. Shower Reb fighting with the uh, red trunks. Dennis Knife Chief with the silver and black. And this has been a very, very tough fight to score. Brutal action here at Remington Park. Another great fight brought to you by HC Boxing and Dennis Knife Chief has Shower Reb in serious serious trouble yeah. he is unloading heavy shots he is. upstairs and to the body the difference but, is the shower rev is coming is is coming back out you know he's stepping back after an exchange and that's when knife chief is landing his big shots he is but shower rev once yeah. again now he's the come. storm and comes back when knife chief needs oh, a breather. great right hand shower rev Cart blunt with that overhand right. It lands at will against the uh, the left side of the face of Dennis Knife Chief. Knife Chief missing there. Shower rep. Nice counter overhand right and three, four, five, six. Overhand nine, right. Dude. Can it's Dennis Knife Chief keep taking these? We're barely halfway through round four. Oh, and Knife Chief landed a great right hook to the body, which back Shower Rev up. I think that's the difference, maybe. Yeah, I think Knife Chief. He's Knife going to the body where Shower Rev is going to the head. He is, and Knife Chief shut down the attack with that right hand by Shower Rev. This is a six round fight. We're in round number four, and these two have gone toe to toe ever since the middle of round number three. Oh, good body shot there by Shower Rev. I was just talking about how he hadn't been going to the body. And it was just a jab, but I think it had an effect on uh, Knife Chief. And I got to say, Shower Rev, extremely impressive. As the former Oklahoma State lightweight champ, he's jumping up three weight classes. Right. This in the junior middleweight uh, division. And I think the difference is, is Knife Chief just has a little bit more power from being the bigger fighter. He does, but wow. man, have you seen more ebbs and flows in a fight since this one? It's Knife Chief, then it's oh, Shower Rip, then it's Knife and Chief. Forth. It just keeps seesawing back oh, and forth. Great. But that I knew was, that was going to end. That was a that right ended the fight right there. I would be the surprised if Shower Rip gets up from that. That was a beautiful shot eight, to the body. Nine, it's Shire over. Rip I knew it. It's cannot over. make it up, wow, and it a was a body shot. Wow. It was a Dennis Knife Chief body shot, a right hand to the center of the solar plexus of Shawa Rab that put him down for the count. We'll have the official time coming up. Stay with us. What we just saw was the Hagler Hearns of Oklahoma Boxing Junior Middleweight fight toe-to-toe -to -toe action through four solid rounds. Dennis Knife Chief pulling out the victory with a picture perfect right hand to the body of Shadi Shawareb. Oh. This is one for the ages. Let's get the official time on the ending. Set it up in the ring to Thomas Triber. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. Two minutes, 42 seconds of round number four. Our referee in charge, Gary Ritter, reaches the count of 10. Your winner by way of knockout, Tennis, the Pony Express. Dennis Knife Chief, a fan favorite, notching his 11th win with a KO over the very tough, very talented Shadi Shawareb, who is coming up three weight classes for this fight. Darren Humphrey, uh, how much did that surprise? Did, did that end surprise you? Well, I don't know if any ending in a Knife Chief fight surprises me. <laughs> um, he's a he's a fantastic fighter. He's very exciting, definitely a fan favorite. I don't know what more you could ask for coming out tonight than to see a fight like that. Beautiful body punching ends the show in our 
co-featured main event this evening, Dennis Knife Chief knocking out Shadi Showerab, but stick around. Our main event is still coming up. Undefeated cruiserweight contenders in the ring. Marcus Sanchez versus Tuan Smith. That's our main event coming up next. Stay with us.